welcome back to the Heat Beat Garage. So, um, a little while ago, me and Jake made a video with this truck, um, basically explaining like what all the mods done to it and everything along those lines. So, uh, today we're going to try to address some of the issues that I have with this truck, um, just because it's a higher mileage truck. If any of y'all ain't watched that video, this truck has 275,000 miles on it, and it's been absolutely phenomenal and great. But as a truck with 275,000 miles on it, it does need some uh, some love and some help on a couple of things. Um, so today we're going to be tackling some of those issues that we have or that I've had with the truck. Um, one of them, most notable, being injectors. Um, so I went ahead and picked up a Bosch set of stock injectors for this thing. Um, about six of those with all new feed tubes. Um, actually, I actually ordered the feed tubes twice because I did. I wasn't sure if they came with feed tubes or not. Luckily, they did. So I just have an extra set in case anything goes wrong. Um, also, on top of that, I uh, went ahead and got some new control arms for the truck. Um, the one on this side is messed up, which is why the tires are all cupped. But that's something I knew about. Like I said. Um, this thing needs an oil change really badly, uh, and a fuel filter change. It just ba it basically needs all the, the normal maintenance stuff, the stuff that I've been neglecting. I don't drive this truck that often anymore just because of fuel prices and stuff. So, honestly, it just, it got to a point where it's like, okay, I need to do a whole bunch of things. And, like, I'm going to have to sink some money into it, so I need to stop driving it. Um, for the better part of, you know, three years, this was my daily driver. So... Uh, now we're getting around to fixing all the stuff that uh, needs to be fixed, or in my opinion, needs to be fixed. But uh, yeah, for any of y'all not believing me, here I'll go ahead and show you the mileage. Maybe I got a glimpse of it, but it's 275,000 miles, um, and I've owned the truck probably about four years, probably close to five now. So uh, it's been a really great truck to me, and um, needs a lot of love, in my opinion, for where I want it to be. Um, the eventual plan with this is. Power and be on a decent sized lift and just 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 put it down basically. I want to be able to roast 40s, um, but that's not going to happen for a little while until I get some, some other things. Obviously, this is going to get an engine sometime soon. I don't know when, uh, hopefully, not anytime soon, but if it happens, it happens. I mean, it's, it's been a good truck for me for about four years now. So, I'm going to go ahead and set up the platform uh, for this because it's so big. And we'll start turning into it. So the plan is we're gonna go ahead, get the top of the valve cover out, get all this wire and bullshit out, get the whole uh, intake horn out here real quick. Um, get basically just get down to the grid heater. Um, I'll probably go ahead and pull the drain bolt out for the oil um, just because I'm already right here and I'm trying to get all this stuff cleaned up uh, this has actually got second gen swap in it um, I don't know if I talked about that in the video but anyway this is like a budget second gen swap it's not nothing special it's only a BD power charger and um, a stock second gen manifold sitting right there but uh, yeah we're gonna go ahead and take this part off and then we'll roll with it from there all right all right went ahead got the uh, valve cover gasket off it's got all the electrical connections in it um, that run for all your injectors I decided not to take the rocker box away off just because I would have to break all that seal and I don't have one and then also that's just more extra bolts for me to put in um, whenever I go to do the injectors. So, now, 
what you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and pull off each rocker arm um, all the way back and you're going to need to put them in order of how they came off along with the uh, rocker arm bridges that are under here. So literally I'm going to think I'm going to cut up a piece of that cardboard and then I'm going to label them uh, one through six and then I'll just go one, two, three, four, five, six with the bridges right beside it. So that way when I put all this back together, I know, okay, front to back, that's what we're working with. And keep in mind, I've never done this. This is my first time doing this, but this is, you know, if you've done any kind of engine repair before or um, you're familiar with doing mechanic work on the engines, it's pretty self-explanatory. Everybody knows all this stuff wears in to this a certain type of way 275,000 miles I don't think any of it's been changed so it's extremely important that we put it all on that piece of cardboard and put it back the same way that we got it off so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and pull all those bolts out and then start setting these off right over there on that piece of cardboard all right went ahead and got all the rockers pulled out all the way across um, now I'm just gonna snip these two eight millimeter bolts all the way up and then we'll pull the injectors out of it and um, one thing you can go ahead and check while you're here is your valve lash um, see where it was and then uh, you can put it back within spec if you wanted to um, if you're just pulling these out you don't have to adjust these um, but if you're already in here and you haven't done it in the last you know 60 70 thousand miles uh, might want to look into doing it but I just recently did mine, or not that recent ago, but like 20,000 miles ago I did it. So I'm not even gonna mess with it. Um, so yeah, we'll just go ahead, start pulling off all these injector hold downs and get all the bolts out of here. Then once all that's out, I actually bring a vacuum in here and uh, I'll suck up anything that is in the bore for the injectors. Um, and just try to clean everything as much as I can. Um, and then go ahead and put it all. I'll probably have to assemble those. Um, and then just go ahead and put it all in and tighten everything down. Um, this is one of those things that's going to be extremely critical. Um, still going to have to remove the fuel rail and all the injector lines. I got to get to that too. Um, I just thought about that while I was on, while I was on here. Um, it's got injector line hold downs uh, like right here. See that? Um, you can just pull that bolt out right there and it threads into the bottom of the intake. Uh, that's the easiest way to go about doing it. And then just obviously pull your lines off. I think they're like a uh, 19 mil or whatever. But uh, yeah, just go ahead and pull your lines off. Keep it rolling. All right, went ahead and got the fuel rail disconnected. Got all the feed tubes out. Um, uses these hold down nuts. They are a 24 millimeter uh, socket or um, the equivalent wrench. Um, it looks like, I don't know if I'll be able to show this to you on camera, but it looks like, all right, you see that 140322? Okay, so I got one of those, two of those, three of those. This one, it's got markings on it, but it's not the same exact spot. This one says 060211. Maybe I can see that. 060211. So I'm thinking this is a semi original. And then that's a 22. And then this is the same. No, oh, that's a 22. Okay, so apparently this is the only funky one um, that's not uh, right. It's got a different date on it. So I'm guessing they went with factory injectors at some point um, and didn't replace one or something. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see if there's any date codes on the injectors themselves. Um, if, there, if there's any of y'all in the comments that are diesel mechanics or specifically work on um, 03 to 0759 Cummins, 
all the time and you can tell me where to look at uh, as far as getting the dates on maybe when they were manufactured um, that would be extremely helpful but uh, if I can't I'll just look for myself and if I find it then I find it then but yeah um, so now I guess we'll just go ahead and pull all the injectors out and clean them up and look at it and see what's going on uh, yeah so let's get to it all right went ahead and got all the holes cleaned out uh, did up that real quick got all the injectors I set them out over there by what cylinder they are uh, and then I guess last we'll go through them we'll look at them and see uh, what is what we'll see if we can find a date card on them but uh yeah I'm gonna go ahead tear into these real quick see what they look like um, supposedly these come with Yeah, supposedly these come with their own feed tubes and shit. So, have us look here. As soon as I get the damn thing open. Alright, here we go. There's your feed tube. There's your injector. Looks like these are already assembled. Me, maybe do don't fucking drop it. But uh, yeah, that should be too. Wonder if that's the date or not. Uh, I guess I have to look. But uh, yeah. That's the whole piece right there. Seem to be be okay. Um, you do gotta put some grease on the O-rings, um, on the feed tube, and then also the uh, one for the injector itself. Um, which you can do that whatever you will. Some people like to use petroleum jelly. Some people want to use engine oil. Probably gonna be using engine oil because it's already here. Uh, but yeah. Go ahead and start slamming these things in one by one. Um, you want to wear gloves. Uh, I'm going to clean those off. But you want to wear gloves whenever you put them in. Alright. Went ahead and got all the holes cleaned out. Uh, did up that real quick. Got all the injectors. I set them out over there by what cylinder they are. Um, and then I guess last we'll go through them. We'll look at them and see uh, what is. We'll see if we can find a date card on them. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead, tear into these real quick, see what they look like. Um, supposedly, these come with, yeah, supposedly these come with their own feed tubes and shit. So, let's have us look here. As soon as I get the damn thing open. Right. Go. There's your feed tube. There's your injector. Looks like these are already assembled. Which is nice for me. Maybe do don't fucking drop it. But uh yeah, that's your feed tube. The whole piece right there seem to be be okay. Um, you do gotta put some grease on the O-rings um, on the feed tube, and then also the uh, one for the injector itself. Um, which you can do that whatever you will. Some people like to use petroleum jelly. Some people want to use engine oil. Probably gonna be using engine oil because it's already here. Uh, but yeah. Go ahead and start slamming these things in one by one. Um, you want to wear gloves. Uh, I'm going to clean those off. But you want to wear gloves whenever you put them in. Alright. So, went ahead and got all the injectors torqued down. 
feed tubes torqued down. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish up putting on the fuel rail and hooking up all the injector lines that go on top of it. Um, put all the bolts in, go ahead and do your wiring harness. Um, if y'all wondering, the torque spec on this, um, it is going to be 44 inch pounds for the injectors um, and 11 foot, uh, 11 foot pounds for the uh, feed tube nozzle. Um, then you're going to go back and do 89 inch pounds on the injectors and 37 foot pounds on uh, the injector feed tubes. So basically, injectors is only in inch pounds and feed tubes are going to be in foot pounds. Um, whatever you do, do not mix those up because you do not want to tighten these down to 37, uh, 37 foot pounds that would be a really bad day so yeah um basically i'm gonna go ahead and snug up all the lines and then i gotta throw the whole rocker box and all that stuff right back on in here um and then after that it's just you know charge pipe should be ready to do a first fire but uh yeah i'm gonna keep hammered away i'll catch up to y'all when i got something to report all right Ugh. Went ahead, went ahead and got the whole top end pretty much all buttoned up. Just gotta throw the intake horn on right now. And then after that, we should pretty much just ready to go for first fire up. See how it is. I think I got everything. If I didn't, I'm sure the truck will let me know. But wasn't that bad? I see black stuff all over my face. Good night. Um, wasn't that bad of a job, honestly. Uh, kind of took my time with it. Um, because this is one of those things you don't really want to kind of mess up. Um, spend some money on it and, you know, it's lots of, lots to do with. Um, but other than that, this is fairly straightforward, easy job. Like I said, as long as you get the torque specs right, you should be fine. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and throw this intake horn on and then we're going to go first fire up. We're gonna go first fire up.
light smoke. be tip top shape yes that's a lot better this thing used to rev hang really 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 bad and uh, it's sounding great if it's that it hopefully it stays like this for a long time but that sounds amazing i used to have a whole bunch of cloud of white smoke on first startups in the morning where the injector seats i guess was fucking leaking or probably one of the bodies so with these that's what i was hoping to accomplish which these are just stock injectors but uh you know either way uh I paid 500 bucks for these injectors, and I know y'all are gonna fucking lose your mind over that. Oh, it's $500 for diesel injectors. Yes, I know. But look, they were Bosch, they were new, so I took a chance. I was like, worst case scenario, I could use them as cores uh, until I buy me a big boy set of injectors, you know what I'm saying? 100 over, 150 over, 200 over, something like that. But yeah. And I could keep my stock ones instead of having to send them in for a core and basically the truck being down that whole entire time, I could literally run the stock ones. But it seems to be running just fine. Fuel pressure is a lot more stable too now than what it was. It used to be all over the place. But hell yeah. I'm really glad that went as smooth as it did honestly I kind of just took my time I know I didn't film a lot which I'm I'm sorry about that but you know I want to take my time and do this right the this fuel injection uh, not fuel injection this common rail stuff is really uh, I wouldn't say tedious but it you, you can you can screw it up pretty easily if you're not paying attention and uh, that's something obviously I didn't want to happen um, also, this fucking fuel pressure system, on average, is like 20,000 PSI. So, like, if you forget to tighten the line or something, that's a lot of fucking pressure that uh, that could really, really do some damage. There's a whole bunch of guys on the forums that shows pictures of they were went, going to go tighten a uh, injector line, and literally it shredded their hand. So, um, if you're thinking about doing this, know the risks. Know what you're getting into. Take your time. Don't do nothing crazy. Don't try and fucking fly through it in a night unless you've done it a whole bunch of times. But, you know, all in all, if I had to take this to a shop, it'd have probably been every bit of like six grand, five, six grand at least. And I paid 500 bucks for the injectors and two hours worth of my time. I mean, it's really not that bad. Man, it sounds good. But, uh, yeah I guess I'll uh, catch up to y'all whenever I hear something might even take it on a test drive alrighty guys so uh, just took it on a little test drive just kind of see how everything was going um, it's got some more power uh, she's back to, to, to chirping 38's which is um, the way I like it honestly um, I'm going to try to get y'all a video of the daytime Honestly, tomorrow is going to be the real uh, finishing factor. It's like, it's dark right now, so I really can't tell um, what it's, you know, how it's actually performing. Because, like, I can't really see if the smoke output's a little better. It it looks like it's a little bit cleaner. Um, feels like it's a little bit cleaner. The boost is definitely up there. Probably another five to six more pounds than the way it was. Um, seems like the turbo's wanting to light a lot faster now, too. So that's... Really, that's mainly what I was looking for. Um, also, I'm hoping, I know tomorrow, like I said, but I'm hoping it clears up my white smoke issue in the morning because um, whenever it sits and it's cold, 
Um, it'll do a little white smoke and stuff. So I'm hoping that that's fixed. Obviously, I won't know until tomorrow. But all right, guys. So it's the next day. Um, the truck said overnight. Um, I couldn't get any really good videos of it last night about how it was running and stuff. But um, like I said, it felt really good. Um, as far as power goes, uh, obviously, I wouldn't be able to see very much because, like I said, it was dark. So. Uh, we're going to hop in this thing, do a first fire up, and we're going to see if she smokes, or white smokes again, or um, we're also going to see the smoke output. I think the turbo's spooling a little bit faster now, because there's uh, not so much excess fuel going in the wrong places. But, I guess we'll have to drive it and see. Alright. Alright, this is letting it set overnight. So usually this is when a white smoke's real bad. say that's pretty promising um, no white smoke on startup which is really what we're looking for uh, so I'm gonna let it warm up and then we'll take it for a little test drive and see uh, how good it is or how bad it is or whatever I don't know like I said last night it felt really good so uh, I'm hoping it's still the same this morning which I don't see why it wouldn't be but you know let's try all right so we went ahead and got it all warmed up. We're going to see how it puts down. Way more responsive. Like 100% way more responsive just from the pedal feel. And it still chooches, but it's a lot better than it used to be. Yep. Well, I'm really happy with that. Um, and this is on like a little bit above a quarter tank, so it might actually get better, which is crazy to think. Still got a couple things to chase down as far as performance goes. Uh, I need to go ahead and get a uh, wastegate solenoid uh, delete plug. I have one um, and it uh, burnt itself up. So I need to go ahead and do that um, just so I can run a little bit more PSI before it wants to turn on the wastegate. But uh, other than that, running great, it's doing fine. Um, I have to see how these injectors up, hold up over time um, and just run with it like that. But uh, yeah, seems to be doing good. So let's see y'all on the next one.